what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and this video is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com because i signed myself now i've been posed with a question will little tj last now first and foremost i mean that's a pretty early period of time to ask me that question right because little tj is just now coming up and if you aren't clear on who little tj is let me give a little detail backtrack a little bit Lil TJ is a rapper from Bronx, New York, and you might not even want to call him a rapper because of his influences are people like Usher, Michael Jackson, and Justin Bieber. Don't believe me? Check his song, None of Your Love, where he essentially flips Justin Bieber's baby. Not his kid, but the song. He's the perfect epitome of today's sing rapper, right? He does it, and he does it well, and he comes from that tree of the A Boogie-ish Bronx, New York rap style. So, Let's get into a few things to consider because like I said, it's pretty early, but these things will give an idea of some of his trajectory. So one thing to really consider is Lil TJ's music release strategy. He doesn't really drop a lot of music, especially by today's standards. Even if you go look through his pages, you can look at his SoundCloud and see, you know, okay, he dropped the whole effing tape that had a few tracks obviously 10 months ago but then you look at six months ago that's four months as a gap one month ago right like five months ago it's kind of random and there's a decent period of time oftentimes at least two to three months in between each one right and that type of strategy really touches on a principle that a lot of people get mixed up they think that you have to flood 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 the streets just to get people's attention to keep people's attention but it's not necessarily about just putting a lot of information out there but it's about how long can you hold people's attention and can you maximize records a lot of people flood the streets and then they don't maximize one record that they could have gotten a lot more out of and doing something like this helps you not just blow up with all your good stuff at first and then next thing you know you fall off because you saturated the market people are tired of you and you might not have another hit hit coming up soon just like Fetty Wild when he hit in like 2014-15 and he went super hard he didn't hit the market with just a lot of music he hit the market with three legitimate hits so another thing to consider when you look at little tj is yo he has a team and the team is moving well they're making small moves to maximize not only the music but even attention in smart moments a perfect example is the fake arrest video that they did it was something that created a lot of conversation without having to do something stupid like create a random beef or something like that if you don't know what video i'm talking about you can check out the fake arrest here hey yo get off him dick sucker Free Cody! So this is my favorite part of the marketing and one of my favorite little moments because when you think about PR and trying to get attention, you know how they say all attention is good attention. I don't know. I still feel like the verdict's out on that. There's still a few things where, you know, I don't know if that was good attention. But when it comes to this, what's really dope is when you have those snippets to the music videos, it doesn't have to come off as just some superficial trolling, right? You can say you were promoing your music video versus doing some random gimmick six, nine type thing just to get people's attention. That's not necessarily leading to anybody at the moment. It's just trying to make people talk about you. And even better in this particular instance, yeah, he did the clip and a lot of people didn't believe him. Some people did believe at first, but the beauty of this type of stuff is when it happens, you do get into the conversation. People start to talk about you, even if they don't believe and they start talking mess about people who do believe they're still keeping you in the conversation. They're still creating some energy and buzz around you all the way to the point that it was talked about on everyday struggle. And again, even though they didn't believe it, they were still talking about them. And that's the point. One thing that people should keep in mind, whether you're trying to be some kind of random type of celebrity or you're specifically trying to be an artist, one thing that you want to do, right? The first step is just to get people to know something about you. One fact, really. Why? Because it goes like this. Right. If you can get somebody to have this one fact in their brain about you, when they see you again, they'll recognize you. Right. They've created some familiarity and they'll be more open to learn more about you. So 
He was a perfect example. A lot of people never heard of Lil TJ, but once they saw this whole arrest thing, they're hearing about the rapper who got arrested. That's some people, right? And then some people are hearing about the rapper who got arrested, but it was actually a fake video. Either way it goes, those people have heard about him. I'm not talking about the core fans who already know about him and the people who are in the area and they actually start to get into like him, T Lil TJ's music just from hearing about it. Some people literally just heard that, saw the video, saw his face, and now like they're gone. But next time some people see him, they'll be like, yo, isn't that that dude that had the fake arrest video? And then some people never even found out that it was fake, right? So they're just gonna be like, yo, isn't that the dude who got arrested? And then once they see them, all right, they're gonna pay more attention and then they'll learn another fact and then they'll learn another fact and another fact and they'll become more and more open to learn more stuff about the person. It's a psychology thing. Right. When you learn stuff about people, it makes you want to learn more. It makes you curious to know more. You ever learn a little bit of something or hear a little bit of a story and now you're like wondering what else is happening. Even if you move on your mind, there's a space in your mind that wants to complete the loop, wants to complete the story. There's a lot of shows, right, that I don't care about, especially some of these reality shows, but might be in a sister house or something like that see a little bit of it and then I get to know people's names or whatever and I'm not paying attention to that mess but then next time I'm over there you know just chilling eating some cereal or something like that I'm kind of in my mind thinking yo what's up with such and such oh snap I mean because I remember they did that and that and I start to make those connections our mind like the psychology is constantly looking to make those connections that's how the brain works so your goal as an artist or anybody who wants to be a famous known brand for that matter is to get people to know facts about you. You just gotta figure out what's the first one. And then the last thing to consider when it comes to Lil TJ is the fact that he signed to Columbia Records, which means he does have infrastructure in place. We talked about earlier, yo, okay, he has a team that's smart enough to know how to leverage visibility. They know how to leverage certain music and make sure they get the most out of songs. But the thing about Columbia Records in particular that makes it really interesting when you think about an artist like Lil TJ is the fact that he's a quote unquote urban artist and Columbia Records doesn't have a slew of young urban artist. This is particularly when you're comparing them to somebody like Atlantic Records, right? That they have a full, full roster. But Columbia Records has Polo G, which of course, if you know Polo G, you probably know Lil TJ and vice versa. They did pop out together. And then we have Lil Nas X. And that's pretty much it in terms of some of the biggest artists on that label in their particular category. I might be forgetting somebody, but when you have at least that, right? Some solid artist, but it's not a huge roster, that means they're probably gonna get more attention in their space. You don't have to share a lot of resources with a lot of other random artists and compete for that, which means Columbia is probably gonna take care of them. They're probably invested in him having a solid career. So that's another big W when it comes to Lil TJ. And those are three main things to consider on whether you think Lil TJ will last in the game or not, right? He does have some infrastructure and a solid team in place. He does have some strategy when it comes to how he puts out his music. He shows that he wants this for the long game. You can see it in the way he moves. And the most interesting and random part about him to me is the fact that his influencers are those more R&B people that he talks about, as opposed to some of the rappers that a lot of people would have directly compared him to. But that could be to his favor at some point and start to help differentiate him as he starts to evolve as an artist. So these are some things to look out for. I want to know your thoughts. If you've heard Lil TJ or if you haven't, go listen to him and let me know, do you think he'll last? It's early to judge, but you know, people love speculation today. That's it. As always, this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com. We take artists, help develop and build their brands, and then we help build their fan bases, real fans, that is. And as always, last but not least, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.